Hey there everyone, uh, I'm Tim Kasher of Cursive and the Good Life. I'm at Amoeba doing What's in My Bag. Oh yeah, it's simple enough to be happy. But who's gonna choose to ignore such basic truth? Not you. For the most part, I went legitimately shopping for like the new music that I've been meaning to get. So a lot of the stuff's pretty new. So this is uh, the Cloud Nothings. I want a life, it's all I need. been a fan of them for the last two records now. I just think they're outstanding. You know how we all get older and we don't like to listen to abrasive rock or hard rock anymore. So Cloud Nothings helps me feel good that it's like, no, actually I still, as long as the music's written well, I like it to be abrasive. But this is actually a little bit more low key, it seems like, from what I listen to. But anyways, I'm excited about that. So here's a band, Chastity Bell. They are really new for me, but I feel like I'm falling in love with them so fast. This is very much a trial record for me, but I feel convinced that I'm a fan and I'll be buying their next record as well and probably the older record as well. You know, we hear an endless stream of music in our lives and every now and then something like sticks out and uh, that's what this was for me. So I'll be listening to this a lot. I'm constantly listening to Meat Wave like over and over and over again, so this might take that over. So this is Car Seat Headrest. It's called Teens of Denial. I was just gonna say it's undeniable, undeniably good. This was really huge last year and I was a little slow to picking up on it. So here I am now, joining the hordes, buying the very, very popular album of last year. But I'm excited, it's a great record. Spoon, Hot Thoughts, this just came out. I haven't heard anything off of it yet. It's a great, consistent band, great writing. I've known Brit, I guess, for a really long time as well. I did some touring with them way back in the day. Uh, so I haven't missed an album ever since they've been releasing albums, so it's just kind of fun. Every few years when Spoon puts another record out, I'm, I'm there picking it up. Oh, and it's in red vinyl too. That's fun. I think this is it. So I also found something used. Uh, I've started listening to a lot of Bernard Herrmann lately. The reason why I got into him. It was a De Palma movie that I uh, was completely unfamiliar with. Maybe one of you can help me with this. Uh, I'm sorry? Yeah, yes, Obsession. thank you. For all of the, you know, fan studying I've done of De Palma over the years, I stumbled upon Obsession that came out, I don't know, somewhere maybe after Carrie and before The Fury, possibly, or something like that. But I was really unfamiliar with that. I watched it and the soundtrack was really amazing. The score is really amazing is Bernard Herman. That's not this one though. Um, but I just started listening to all, all of Herman's stuff. So something to check out. So. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Hold up your telescope. Chuck your compass at the unknown. You should shoot out every star. Be back!